Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Behind us is the new Renault Austral. In this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here is the new Renault Austral, beautiful. This is the mild hybrid version. So this is the 1.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder petrol engine producing 160 horsepower and linked to seven speed automatic. I gotta say this car is such a nice SUV and so comfortable, but more on that, we're gonna uh, talk and the night point of view review. Now checking the key fob, it's the same design from the group, but with the new badge here on the back, it's all black, you have lock on lock. You can turn the LED lights on on the exterior and unlock the uh, cargo space, which is electronic in this case, an option. You can see those LED headlights and you can see if I press and lock, uh, turn signals at the bottom. Now we can lock the car, it's keyless entry, so you just keep your key in the pocket, you can come back and forward. Now coming a little bit closer, checking those uh, details, beautiful light today, it's a little bit cloudy. Now uh, this is the blue metallic color and you can see the flakes inside. So it looks very uh, beautiful with this black contrasting details. So you can see here, the bottom of the vehicle, they've decided to paint the, what's usually protection, uh, around the vehicle so it's in piano black. Now checking the headlights, these are standard LED. So on the top you have the daytime running lights extending at the bottom and then the bottom part switches to the turn signals or hazard lights, you can see that. And you can see here LED projectors, there's three of them. Fourth one is the, I believe, fog light and then at the bottom you have the long beam. Now there's another one here actually. So there's like four on the top and then two more at the bottom. Now uh, there is matrix option. I think this is the base. So Renault LED Pure Vision and I some nice details inside. Now you can see here there's a chrome parts from the grill kind of extending below the headlight here in the middle. There's a chrome strike and we have the new badge there. This is also for uh, radar for emergency braking cruise distance. You can see air intake on the top and at the bottom also three 60 parking sensors option here in this model and you can see here air tunneling to the side um, this is unpainted plastic a little bit but it's piano black at the bottom huge thanks to Renault Croatia for giving me the car for review early and here you can see the uh, 360 camera system so there are also uh, cameras on the side mirrors and one on the back Checking the car from the front, uh, looks very unique and has this familiar signature from the new uh, last generation design from Megane, Clio, and so on. Uh, looking good. Now, I'm gonna put the technical details in the video description in case I forget something, you know, car dimensions, uh, cargo space, and so on. So checking here the alloys, we have beautiful alloys. This is diamond cut silver on black new covers new badge we also have this lug nuts with this plastic covers so this is anti-theft i believe and came with michelin so these are e primacy tires latest generation this is 20555 r19 tire dimension or alloy and checking at the top we have integrated washer nozzles in the wiper blades, we have the light and range sensor and lane assist camera. I think the lane assist could work a little better. Uh, this is also an option. I believe I'm gonna show the spec inside. Now we do have black side contrasting mirrors. I believe this is standard. And uh, this appears to be, not sure if it's metallic, it's a little bit uh, from bugs and uh, washing the car. There's some. Uh, like white, you know, dots uh, from uh, water drying out on the sun. Now, um, you can see silver roof racks and on the top, if I back up, you can see the whole car and the profile looks elegant. We have that chrome line extending and then coming back from the C pillar. Now these are uh, metal and thin. You can see there are little dots on both ends so you can align the uh, roof racks. Now checking here the mirrors, we have blind spot 
integration so blind spot warning and physical blind spot in the mirror we have the uh, camera for 360 there and at the bottom we were mentioning just black uh, tinted windows on the rear and over here you can see on the driver end you can pop the plastic there's a physical cylinder behind this I believe you get a physical key either as a separate key or in your uh, key fob so this is in case you deplete your 12 volt battery now moving to the back uh, black shark fin antenna spoilers kind of extending from the body you have the stoplight on the top and then let me just back up here you can see the whole car and it looks really elegant especially from the back with this uh, new tail as you can see the exhaust pipe there on the uh, left now let me take out the key show the led lights so a little bit dimmer but they're on as you can see very nice 3d details inside so if we unlock the car you can see turn signal here very gorgeous looking also Renault signature inside now you also have the LED fog lights at the back with cat eyes also a little bit piano black and then some unpainted black so this is for the kind of diffuser imitation and here you can see new badge and signature Austral and here you can see the LED taillights white and backing camera there now let me open the cargo space using the key fob just hold it and voila you can see the whole car in the frame now I'm a two meter tall person if you're new to the channel or 6.16 feet so a little comparison height wise and opens fairly tall I would say actually quite tall uh, you can close here manually on both ends you can press here to close it uh, you can manually adjust the height and then just hold here to memorize the position you're gonna hear a sound when it memorize that and over here we have a shelf of course you can remove this and then take this off there's rubber stoppers here and you can put a longer umbrella here perhaps and you can also see that the seats can be tilted so there's that difference and over here we have enormous cargo space this is 500 liters of cargo space thousand and uh, 525 if you knock down the seats now checking here have plastic protection and there is some depth here four fingers of height now it would be nicer if if it was completely flat but it is what it is now um, checking the right side there's a little room here and there's a to the point there you can knock down the seats from the rear there's a grocery hook and then on the left side uh, with the addition of 12 volt outlet and warm light I think they could have added the second light on both ends but we're gonna see in the separate video how this car looks at night also a little space there so you can fit a fire extinguisher if it's a company car or if it's mandatory in your country in Croatia it's mandatory only if it's a business car but it's recommended to have one in the car um, now the latch point there uh, there's a first aid box here emergency triangle and a little bulb set this is creation standard sort of now you can see here if I pull this up uh, there's actually a spare tire this is smaller dimension so this is well let me see here um, 50, 155 90 R17 so there you go put this back in so there's like a little space here so when you push it in it locks into position will go up and down by accident and yeah let's close it up so it closes very silently you can barely hear this so it's excellent thumbs up for that for Renault engineer or, or French engineers over here you can see just pushing the pistol for the uh, petrol and there is recommendation here so 98 uh, minimum 95 and you can see here uh, you're supposed to push the nozzle inside not touch it with your fingers it is a little bit uh, longer cap but it is what it is when you lock the car it gets locked so you can see the car it looks 
very gorgeous. Now I've backed up so the car uh, locked itself. Now when I come closer, you're gonna see the car will just unlock since the key is in my pocket. Good closing sound. Uh, door handles could be a little bit less noisy. I think they added like a rubber here, but I think they should have padded more maybe. I don't know. It's just something they could work on. Otherwise, good closing sound. Uh, we have good seals here. So double sealing, extending around and there's an inside seal. Now the doors go all the way down. So you can see I washed the car. There's water here, but not here. Also not here, so that's good. And the doors go all the way down. Now, you can see here Roman 5 means this is a factory tint over there. Hard plastics on the back and then soft touch materials at the bottom. This is also soft touch, so things that are covered with leather are soft touch. Um, well, a little chrome. Uh, we have also speaker here and at the bottom. Now this is a little bit narrow if you need to put a water bottle. It's a little bit tight and plasticky there. Big handles, easy to open. Now, uh, if you need to put a child seat, this is fairly wide. You could uh, access here with uh, not too much problems. There's isofix here and the seats, well, these are cloth combo with leather. So there's some kind of contra stitching, black and white, with some stitching there in the middle. Uh, beautiful kind of grayish towards the top. You can see you can raise the headrest. And uh, now there's an option to pull this little tab here. Let's push your finger through. So you push, push this, uh, or excuse me, pull this, and then you can knock down the seat. So let me do that. You can see how that looks. So you can see the cargo space there and space on the top. There are tether points on the back, of course. Now, push this up. So this locks into upright position, but you can pull this and then tilt this as well. And also now over here, there's two for the divider. So the seat's not down. I forgot to mention 60, 40. So you can slide this. Let me just jump inside. And before I do that, there's a nice step here if you have kids and you get these. So they have like little spikes so they don't move. Uh, original uh, rubber floor mats, practical. Now, uh, plenty of feet room. Um, you can see a little net here, plenty of knee room. I was sitting in the front. So if it was uh, average person sitting in the front there would be even more uh, knee room. Or a leg room and this is kind of plastic shell I think covered with leather actually no this is just leather but excellent and you have air vents here close or open two USB uh, C's for fast charging and there's a little textile combo with leather there and look at this nice big windows there's one in the C pillar you can lower this down of course if you want have more overview and we have this beautiful gray finish. I love this. And you can see here grocery hooks and handles on all four sides. There's also one light that you can, I think, touch to turn on or off. It's currently on. And there are speakers in the C pillars. It looks like someone dinged this or actually damaged it. So this is a press car, so a lot of people drive it. And you can see here they try to maximize the headspace. So Let's see how that works before we do that just to hear the closing sound. So it's solid, uh, good soundproof, but while driving today, it's slightly windy. You can see the grass in the distance kind of moving. So up to 130, it's okay, but going 150, big tall SUV shaped car, it's kind of noisy. Now, um, you can hear that in my point of view driving, so no talking, so you can hear all the cars, uh, sounds like car makes and so on. Um, headspace for a two meter tall person, just trying to raise this up, but it's kind of blocked. Okay, well, I can uh, straighten up my back and my head, so excellent uh, proof for at least two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. And 
Uh, well, transmission tunnel is a bit tall and wide, but I think you could squeeze a third person. This is comfy. There is a middle armrest here. This is plasticky, but you can see that. Unfortunately, no opening here. And, well, let me see here. You could slide the bench. Okay, I'll have to do this one. I can use my feet. So let me just show you here how far this goes. So that's uh, the furthest. You can see I can barely uh, put my knees. So you can see the distance between that. And, um, well, of course, to pull this tab and I can lean backwards, you can see that. And then let me show you again. Oh, very good. Still okay for headspace. So Austral excellent headspace. And a look at the front. Let's get to the front. Uh, no hooks on the B pillar, but there is one here I've uh, showed you. So that's practical and you can adjust the uh, seat belt on the front and headrest are uh, you press here and then you can raise it up or down. It's practical. Uh, front doors open more wider. There is this greeting you can see in this little color change. When you open the door, um, you can see the seal standard and tire pressure information is here and the tire dimension. So always uh, check your tire pressure once a month. And this is soft touch material. There's ambient lights on the front, unfortunately. It'd be cool if it was on the back as well. The rest is the same. So leather is softly padded. You can uh, adjust the mirrors electronically, fold them, and you can also fold them while driving for some reason. And all power windows are fully automatic. You can lock the rear for the kids not to play with the windows. And there is wider space here if you need to put a water bottle and the speaker at the bottom. Now, seats, manual, push this up, you slide back and forward, push this up for up and down. Push this up to tilt the whole seat. And as far as I know, there is no lumbar support. But I was driving today for more than an hour and they were quite comfortable. They have these good cushions, as you can see, and here as well. So it's all good. I like this gray transition from the bottom where it's gray, and then light gray. And here there's a little, well, place you can put something like a garage opener, there's electronic parking brake, sorry for the sun, and there's auto hold. Uh, this is manually adjusted. You have the lane assist, traction off. You can open the cargo space and control the brightness of the cluster. And I'll look at the top and let's jump inside. Also, Astral um, rubber floor mats. These have these points. The others don't, they use the little spikes. I'm gonna pop the bone at the end of the video. Closing sound. Good closing sound, switching to wide lens. So, as I've mentioned, there's gonna be separated day point of view driving with no talking, like a test ride. And I know this is flashing, I'm gonna explain. Now, um, let's zoom back in. So, don't worry, the screen doesn't flash in person, it's only on the camera. Now we have a, uh, well, three spoke steering wheel, flat bottom and flat top. Interesting, very smooth leather and nice texture to the touch, perforated from the inside. Little piano black there. Now we have the driving modes. We have the uh, cruise control, speed limiter. <coughs> <coughs> when the car recognizes speed limit, just press here, it's gonna adjust the speed. Uh, here you press set to set the cruise control on or um, speed limiter and then you go up to adjust the uh, speed. You have also sport paddles, there's like behind, you can feel like, uh, I guess which one's plus or minus, maybe you can see that in the reflection there, it's kind of blurry now. And then over here you have the uh, views for the cockpit, you have the voice commands, phone calls, favorites, and then up and down uh, for the information on the digital cockpit. And yeah, I've mentioned driving modes. Here you have the uh, light switch, 
This is for the automatic long beam. Keep your lights on automatic. You have the fog lights and turn signals. All classic, you have the wiper controls here. This one's for the rear. And then this, this was for the uh, intervals. It's automatic if you push it up or down. And over here, this is for the uh, automatic, again, seven speed automatic. And you can press here for park. And I think this one, press to wash. Also, auto start stop off, start stop engine. And here we have piano black. Now, these air vents here are interesting. Also, this is hard plastic, but this is soft. So this is hard, this is soft. Speaker there and there. And then here we have some textile, double air vents, slowly opening. Now, the glove compartment is uh, fairly spacious. And you can see here, there's quite some room. Also, this is kind of a nice flint. This is like a little, uh, you know, manuals and so on. So let me just show you here the spec. Austral Techmild Hybrid 160 horsepower base price. And then here you have the uh, advanced driving assistant package, 650 euros, uh, package city premium, uh, 360 parking, 800 euros. And then you have the uh, safety package, warning when exiting blind spot and so on, 380. Electronic uh, cargo space, 450. Uh, wireless phone charger, 150 euros. Roof racks, 270. Uh, spare tire, 180. And metallic uh, RQH. Uh, it's like uh, blue iron color, something like that. 850 and uh, full price with the taxes included and CO2 tax, which is kind of high in Croatia, so kind of raises the prices, just so you know, uh, and price in Kunas, so. Uh, with some options, it's a little bit pricey, but good entry price. Now, um, I'll have to turn on this because the hot, the car is hot, I mean, it's so sunny, I need some AC. So you can see here, vehicle check, I'm gonna get that sound. This is really beautiful animation. Okay, we have AC on. Now, let me just quickly show you here the buttons. So here you have the temperature options, fan speed. Uh, you have the max, air below, automatic. Uh, below that, you can see here soft or fast or automatic. You have AC max, where you can close the air recirculation. And a direction there, uh, passenger controls hazards you can see them in the screen but not in the side mirrors unfortunately you can lock the car car locks when you start driving you can unlock it you can also disable that feature in the infotainment you have two usb c's and a 12 volt outlet there uh, you don't have to use the usb cables for apple carplay it's wireless now this is hard plastic it's just covered by leather so it's not padded there's a little piano black there this is a rubber mat, also rubber mat at the bottom there, and adjustable cup holders. Now over here we have a phone holder, you can also put your cable down there, and there is a ambient light, you can see that there. Now this, hear this? So this sounds like a little crown on your watch, that's what they were going for. There's a big space here, it's plasticky at the bottom, but nice and spacious also there's a wireless uh, charger here for your phone and rubber mat nice and big this is just a hand rest since you have this for the automatic now uh, press here beeper uh, well there's a big glove compartment there also plasticky but you have these uh, not to squash your cable if you're routing one and this is nice and soft and now uh, seats very comfortable you have those uh, on the front and checking the top you have the baseless mirror uh, view behind is a little bit uh, narrow and you can see further behind you also auto dimming on the mirror passenger airbag and seat belt information uh, this is also piano black so you can press here open the glass compartment this is nice and rubberized and look at this so like that uh, you can see your kids in the back if you're driving this is a 
cab, you can see passengers on the back. So that's nice and practical. We have the emergency button there. This would be option if you had the sunroof. You can see here, touch lights. So this one's now when the car is on, you can see it works as a touch light when you touch it. And over here, documents holder, and uh, there's a light here. When you open the privacy mirror, it turns on or off the light. And this does not extend, unfortunately. So you can see this space is uh, not covered and you cannot extend it. Now headspace on the front is excellent. You can see that. And let me show you now the digital cockpit and then we'll come back to the screen. So both of the screens are not flashing. Sometimes uh, on the camera, this one's uh, kind of flashy and this one's if you come closer. Now, uh, if we use here views, uh, you can see there's a classical view, there's four pages. So this is the first one. Press, you have the navigation, also slightly flashing. I guess when there's widescreen, then it's kind of flashing. And here you can see a car with the horizon. It also shows you like lanes and uh, distance between other cars and so on. And you can have this uh, in the middle or you can have the classical one. So there is a little bit glare, but in person it's okay, I would say. And let me see here. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I like the avatar when I'm holding the brake. You can see it goes off. Uh, if I use the turn signal, you can see that. And, yep. Now, you can see also here, like, fuel and coolant and so on. And if you want to see the odometer, you have to use this one for up and down. So, you can see the fuel consumption. I picked it up, but eight liters on the clock i'll have to drive the car to see the realistic one but it's supposed to be around six liters now <clears throat> uh, here you can see the odometer almost three thousand kilometers on the clock eco monitor uh, music and classical gauge now if i switch here uh, again you can just show here stuff or just have nothing so it works the same on the uh, other screens so there you go yeah now um, I know this is flashing it's really nothing I can use so I'm gonna be quick here because I did cover this and this is an excellent infotainment it's fast it looks horrible on the camera so Google Maps uh, you have radio settings Google Assistant you can lower this down to full screen this has also night view let me just see if I switch here no, so I thought it would kind of fool the car by switching it to um, lights on. Now there is a light sensor, but it's not here. It's on the top of the camera system. Yeah, nothing I can do. Uh, you can turn the Apple CarPlay. You can see that uh, it's very actually responsive and fluid. Uh, you can see here the options, radio, there's a list. So let me just demonstrate some radio. And I forget, I always forget. So you have this for volume, you can press to mute, uh, sources, switch radio stations, and so on. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm filming. So apparently I can't share the radio because uh, my phone is connected uh, to the Apple CarPlay and it just stops. Uh, or interrupts my filming. The speakers are okay. Um, I did review of this system, so you can check it in my other uh, review. And I'll just go through quickly. So we have excellent uh, multiple favorites. You just memorize, hold, and add the station. You have a list here. This is all nice and fast. Um, we have here what kind of uh, sound you want um, also you can control the volume and balance feeder um, bass middle triple playback is it faster or normal so that's radio um, here you can choose USB connect to Bluetooth um, navigation yeah there's search options I would guess we said we're gonna skip that um, apps so you have the Google Assistant here in the settings you can control all of these I think I've covered this 
Uh, so I'm just gonna go fast through this. If you're watching this video, you can just um, go through. You have Wi-Fi inside the car, Bluetooth, um, <clears throat> location, date and time, storage, Um, profile protection system okay that's not really that relevant um, what is relevant here uh, you have multiple driving modes comfort eco sport and personal you can configure each one of those so you have engine normal sport or eco steering low medium high gives you more feedback if you want that in sport and uh, vehicle chassis uh, ambient lights you can have it personal you can change there um, intensity you can turn it on and then you can uh, link uh, climate actually you can uh, excuse me adjust the climate if it's normal or eco uh, if it's eco then it gives you more power if you're in sport mode and uh, you can see that this color changes here as well now consumption car is idling because I'm filming so you can see this is all flat this would be like a curve um, not really sure how to reset the fuel consumption to be honest so I didn't figure that out um, now uh, 360 cameras you can see that uh, it's nice you have this projections when you move when you go to the back of the car, camera moves so let me just do a full turn you can see that and I know that the screen is horrible look looking you can switch here to the back view so this one's kind of okay I'm not sure what's going on here you can see the sides or 360 uh, this is actually quite fast and fluid. It really looks good. So why is the screen now okay? But if I go to this, it kind of flashes. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, but a very good parking system. Uh, one of the mirrors, I think the right mirror dips down um, when you are reversing. Uh, you can uh, do this parking system or this one or this one. I don't use this or attempt to do this just simply because sometimes the systems are good sometimes they kind of make mistakes so I don't want to curve an alley or something like that or damage another car so I don't test this uh, and if you're a good driver you should know how to park a car uh, without those assistance air purifier auto recirculation uh, driving eco so yeah this is just because the car is idling I think I had this around seven liters when I was filming my point of view excuse me average fuel consumption is here uh, you can mark trips and then track your history I don't have it it's, I didn't do that um, I'll do a night point of review so I'll maybe do that right there so after driving almost 55 kilometers fuel consumption has dropped from 8.2 to 7.7 .7. So here's a little uh, coach, so you can see this. And I'm actually coasted for 21 kilometers, so if you reduct this, uh, it's pretty good. And uh, my average fuel consumption was five liters. It was around 4.9, but it's circle around five liters. So this could be pretty good if you're driving a normal and eco, and if you just let go the car coasts a lot and then you really save a lot especially with this uh, Michelin uh, tires these are uh, e-primacy so they have a low roll resistance and that gives you really nice uh, coasting and it adds to your fuel savings uh, and uh, driving assistance so a lot of features blind spot for the other cars driver uh, awareness uh, so you don't fall asleep a warning lane cruise now the lane assist could be better I, I was not uh, really satisfied with how it works it just keeps you it bounces you from when you touch the side and then sometimes it gives up so I don't know it, it's didn't feel reliable on the test to be honest parking assistance um, you can see all of that and vehicle uh, access here, all the options, cockpit, screen, turn volumes, you can uh, 
add widgets here. Um, so you kind of minimize this, but not the other way, you have the bigger screen for the maps. Uh, tire pressure and uh, updates, so you have over the air updates. Excellent infotainment, you have the pull down menu here with some uh, messages. And here, this is just another shortcut for that. So yeah, have the outer temperature, it's really hot, uh, clock, signal, and so on. And you have the climate controls at the bottom always. Uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, switch it off. And uh, wrapping it up, let's get to the front and show you the um, front engine bay to show you what's powering this. Now I gotta say, um, petrol engine is not too loud, it's nice and smooth and, you know, I'm gonna give you more feedback on the night point of view uh, review. <clears throat> now uh, you can see the engine bay, again, 1.3 liter, uh, it's a four cylinder, one, two, three, four, turbocharged petrol engine producing 160 horsepower and linked to seven speed automatic you saw. Uh, mild hybrid, this means it has a, like a really smaller battery and it's not even one kilowatt. You can check it in the technical uh, description in the video description, there's a link. So uh, also gas struts and you saw that to open, it's just in the middle of the badge. So let me close that up. And that was the new Austral. I hope you liked the review. If you did, uh, be a cool person, give this video a like, helps me a lot. Also leave your comment in the section below, how do you like the new Austral? And uh, as always, if you do like this content, feel free to subscribe, it's completely free. And then click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos. And hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.